We are back with Coach Brad Pindell. First round ouster to Tewksbury. Quick analysis of that. Uh, they're a good team. I mean, they're really big, they're really fast and really physical. Um, but it just, you know, came down to execution. We didn't execute the way we needed to. And when you don't execute against a good team, that's what the result's going to be. How far? I mean, it's tough to know how far a team might go in the playoffs, but do you get the sense when you see them and having faced them that they could make a run? Yeah, I definitely, I mean, I could definitely see them being a Final Four team, if not making it to a Super Bowl. I mean, we scrimmaged them earlier in the year, we played them again, and they're everything I thought they'd be. Interesting. So now very unique shift of focus because guess what's still up for grabs folks a share of the tvl large title this team holds its own destiny on thanksgiving morning if they go to holliston and get that win they will split that title so there is some urgency there Absolutely. and this matchup on friday against framingham keeps the juices going right Absolutely. it just keeps the oil going through the machine what are you looking to accomplish this friday night Again, get just to get back on track, um, you know, to get the execution down that we were lacking last week. And, you know, it's the kids get another home game. So, you know, I want them to enjoy that experience for their, you know, the seniors for their last uh, game on Flay Hive. It's always something special. So they're going to get up for it. And, you know, I want it to be a great experience for them and, you know, get, get the offense back on track and the defense back on track. So say what we want to say about how the system has morphed over the years and some are fans of it and some are not, but there is some benefit to the fact that you know, Thanksgiving in this case does mean something to you guys. So they do get a chance to flip that switch. What is the mindset? And I know it takes a few days after being eliminated from the MIAA playoffs, but do you get the sense the guys have that hunger? You don't have to amp them up too much to face Holliston. No, and again, but they're focused on Framingham right now. They, you know, they, they, they understand that there's a process to it, right? And this is just another work week for them. They came in yesterday and they were laser focused. Um, but, you know, they, they want the win. They want, they want the opportunity to, to get back on track. Mm -hmm. They don't like losing. That's what's great about this team. Friday night, they never quit. I mean, down 30 to seven, and they were still playing it like it was yeah. zero to zero. So there's no quit in this team. The focus is there. So we haven't really focused on Hollison. We'll worry about that next week. Right now, it's all about framing here. Good stuff. So it is this Friday. He mentioned it, queued it up for you. Last senior trip across the Flay Hyde field. So that should be emotional for all of you families who are going to check out your sons. A uh, great opportunity to come to Flathead Field and support the team. Thank you for your time. Oh, Good luck pleasure. against Framingham. Appreciate that. And we'll be back one more time before Thanksgiving to preview that Holliston game. That's Brad Pindell, and that's Inside the Huddle.